My furry friends play the flute and the fiddle. That's the letter K. Two cute caterpillars go into the log. A is for apple, B is for berries, C is for carrot. E is for egg, G is for grapes, H is for honey. J is for jam, M is for muffin, T is for tomato. A is for apple, B is for berries, C is for carrot. That part must be empty. <laughs> we shall make a friendly visit to see a friendly piglet. Oh, hello. I was about to straighten my cabinet. A very big job for a very small animal. Perhaps you might help. If you might open a cabinet door, you'll find a plate with a big letter and a little letter. Then open another door and try to find a plate that looks exactly the same, with exactly the same letters on it. I have five sets of dishes to sort. We can keep track by looking at those leaves at the bottom of the cabinet. When they're all filled in, we'll be all done. This ma this makes... Do you suppose you might help me match these little letter cups with the big letter saucers? K. E. 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 O. I. R. K. 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 Q. I. Q. Q. O. O. I. I. R. R. Very smart indeed. G. T. X. P. T. G. I. T. T. C. S. P. X. P. P. C. S. O. G. S. 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 X. C. X. X. G. G. C. C. Yes, indeed! F V W F F F L B D B B B L L D D W V V V W W Delightful H M Y Y M M G G Z H U Z Z Z U H H H U U O B Q B O 
R B B R R O S Q C O O S S Q C Q Q C C I'm greatly grateful for your help. A tree house just isn't a tree home without a yo-yo. To play this g If my cabinets become muddled again, I hope you'll come back. A small animal can always use the help of a helpful friend. Now we shall see the tree Tigger goes climbing, even though we all know that Tiggers don't climb trees. Hey, it's great to see ya! I'm glad you came around. I climbed so high up in this tree, and now I can't climb down. If you can pick the patches for the quilt down there, why, I can get back to the ground by flying through the air. I know that you can help me, and when the quilt is done, I might just bounce back up here, and we'll have some more fun. <laughs> Bother. We've just learned a bit of a lesson. Tiggers don't climb trees. Or rather, they climb up all right. It's the coming back down that's a bit sticky. And as you can see, Tigger is now quite stuck. If you will help finish this quilt, Tigger might jump down into it, safe and sound. First thing to do is that which hasn't been done. The first letter of each word seems not to be where it should be. We must find the first letter of each word and bring it from the tree trunk to the quilt. Then we just put it in the empty spot where it belongs. And if you feel a bit uncertain about a word, you might go to the picture to hear what it is. Confidentially, to just you and no one else. I have never known Tigger to climb a tree less than three times in a row. <laughs> Those clothespins will help you keep track of how many quilts you've made for Tigger. This, this makes things even a bit harder still. These words are all finished except toward the middle-ish. A and T. And now that word is done. B U G bug. Falling out of trees is not something tiggers do best. H A T hat. I don't know which you'll give out first, me or the branch. P O T pot. Heads up! I'm coming down! Oh, bother. A tigger bounced back into the tree. F L Y. Fly! If I have to hang here till autumn, I'm gonna fall. A P E. Ape. I don't want to complain, but I can't hang around forever. H O E. Ho. Most superbly spelled. C A T. Cat. I don't know what to say, except. <laughs> Oh, bother. A tigger bounced back into the tree. H E N Hen. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> D O G Dog. You've done it. O 
W L Owl. Snickery little fella, isn't he? Shush. S U N Sun. Thanks to you, I'm gonna be safe and sound and down on the ground. <laughs> It's plain simple. You need an aeroplane at your tree house. <laughs> to play. Goodbye, Tigger. We shall come again if you need us. If I know Tigger, he just might be up to something again very soon. <laughs> now we can drop by my house. Although I wonder if I'll be at home at this hour. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, and N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, S, Y, and Z. Now you know your A, B, C. Oh, what a bother. My home is actually quite clean, but <laughs> the clean is all under the clutter. I had a honey party, you see. Each pot has a spot. I must get the A pot to the A spot, the B pot to B spot, and C to C. You see? Then all the others, too. Do you suppose you might help me? Just pick the next pot and put it up on the shelf. As soon as the pots are all back on the shelf, in alphabetical order, we shall be done. A. This, this makes... I'm trying to get these pots put back in a more ABC-ish way. But it's all a bit fuzzy in my head. Would you help me, please? A. A. C. D. E. <laughs> F. G. H. J. Absolutely. K. L. M. N. O. P. Q. R. F. S. T. Positively proper. U. U. V. W. X. Y. Precisely. Z. Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Fun. 
And now we've done every one. The place will be spick and span. Once we get this flag out of here and back to your tree house. To play this game, if again the pots get jumbly, might I ask, very humbly, if you'll come back to help? And now we shall visit the nicest place of all, yours. Tigger told me he left a very special surprise for you inside your treehouse. Why don't we go inside and find out what it is? If you're going in, might I come too, in case any stray honey's been left laying about? <sniffs> Tigger's surprise is right up there. Why don't we open it and see what's inside? Forget the rest. You're the best of the best. You finished a bunch of games, so now you get to make your very own doorbell for your very own treehouse. Woohoo! Pick out a sound for your doorbell and put it in the first spot. Then put another one in the next spot and another in the next until you're all done. Then clickify that green baloney. Woohoo! Go on down to these little arrows to see all your doorbell sounds. Just click on your contraption whenever you'd like to change the sounds it makes. Oh, the magnifying glass makes things look bigger. Where am I going? I don't quite know. Down to the stream where the king cups grow. Up on the hill where the pine trees blow. Anywhere, anywhere, I don't know. Where am I going? The clouds sail by, little ones, baby ones, over the sky. Where am I going? The shadows pass, little ones, baby ones, over the grass. If you were a cloud and sailed up there, you'd sail on water as blue as air. And you'd see me here in the fields and say, doesn't the sky look green today? Where am I going, the high rooks call. It's awful fun to be born at all. Where am I going, the ring doves coo. We do have beautiful things to do. If you were a bird and lived on high, you'd lean on the wind when the wind came by. You'd say to the wind when it took you away, that's where I wanted to go today. Where am I going? I don't quite know. What does it matter where people go? Down to the wood where the bluebells grow. Anywhere, anywhere, I don't know. A lion has a tail, and a very fine tail. And so has an elephant, and so has a whale. And so has a crocodile, and so has a quail. They've all got tails but me. If I had sixpence, I would buy one. I'd say to the shopman, let me try one. I'd say to the elephant, this is my one. They'd all come round to see. 
Then I'd say to the lion, Why, you've got a tail, and so has the elephant, and so has the whale. And look, there's a crocodile, he's got a tail. You've all got tails, like me. No one can tell me, nobody knows, where the wind comes from, where the wind goes. It's flying from somewhere, as fast as it can. I couldn't keep up with it, not if I ran. But if I stopped holding the string of my kite, it would blow with the wind for a day and a night. And then, when I found it, wherever it blew, I should know that the wind had been going there too. So then I could tell them where the wind goes, but where the wind comes from, nobody knows. Now, whenever you want to see if you're home, just ring the old doorbell that you yourself made. Gong. If you're going in, might I come too, in case any stray honey's been left laying about? <sniffs> if we're done in here, I suppose we'll be going out there. <laughs> Your new home looks lovely indeed. Yours truly, Piglet. This, I'm certainly sad to say, means you'll be leaving our hundred-acre wood for a while. If you really must go, click on the green balloon. Are you most certainly certain you must go? If you are, then pick the yellow balloon. But if you'd like to explore just a little bit more, choose the purple balloon. I shall simply say a simple good day, for when you're of a mind to play again, the Hundred Acre Wood will always be here, and will always be waiting just for you. <laughs> Thank you.